Hi guys and welcome to episode 34 of Kent Walks. Um, I'm out in the evening after work. A uh, little four miler. So not massive, but it's a very hot day. The sun, unfortunately the skies are not as blue as it is hot. Otherwise um, it should be glorious. But um, it's not, it's very warm, very, very warm. Very humid, but getting out anyway so um, today we like I said we're doing a four miler um, and it's from Woodchurch just outside of Ashford um, just outside of Ashford but not too far from Ashford anyway so um, enjoy the walk from the church head north and find the path between the two pubs eventually to soon pass by lower mill Carry on following your nose into the fields and at the fork head left to bring you out at Shaddockshurst Road. Turn left along the tarmac and at the crossroads head straight over into Redwood Street. Opposite King Farm head left through a gap in the hedge over a stile to enter a field and follow the marked path over another stile that brings you southwesterly towards a pond and just past it enter another field. Follow the path round to the left as it brings you out onto Susan's Hill. Turn right along the lane and follow it down to Cuckoo's Pit Farm. Turn left along the narrow lane and opposite Haycross Farm. Turn left and navigate the farm buildings to enter Maiden Wood. Exit from the wood and cross the field over a stream following your nose past Court Lodge Farm to arrive back at Woodchurch. Turn left along the road, back to the start. Woodchurch is the largest civil parish within the borough of Ashford and has a significant community feel. The village became firmly established in the 13th century with the erection of the large All Saints Church made of Kentish ragstone. Although it was extensively restored in the 1840s, it still boasts a 13th century chancel and a famous brass of the 14th century depicting a floriated cross design. To the north we have a restored windmill that overlooks the village commanding extensive views over the Walland marshes to the English Channel, which I'll talk about when we get closer. Lower Mill is a smock mill here in Woodchurch. It was built in 1820 and is a scheduled ancient monument and a Grade II listed building and was originally one of a pair of windmills standing on this site, known locally as the Twins. During its working life the mill was fitted with second hand millstones from the smock mill at Dimchurch and the post mill at Kennington. The sales on the mill when it stopped working in 1926 had previously been on High Howden Post Mill and before that Aldington Smock Mill. In 1946 the owner of the mill, Sir Sidney Nicholson, had the mill made weatherproof but plans for further repair and restoration were thwarted by his death the next year. Local villagers raised money for two new sales in 1957 but the cap was found to be unsafe shortly after and the sails had to be removed. By the late 70s the mill was on the point of collapse but a restoration program was put in place and the mill was fully restored and fitted with patent sails as the wind shaft was found to be suitable for these. A complete new smock tower was built 
and restoration completed in 1986. Bit hot.
Wood Church Village Life Museum is open from Easter until the end of September. Saturdays, Sundays and bank holidays from 10 until 4. Entry to the museum is free. Both collection and toilets are fully accessible for wheelchairs and there is a lawn area where you can sit and have a picnic. The museum is housed in an 18th century oak framed barn and 17th century cart shed on a rural site not far from the village centre. The collection is very varied, from wagons to tiny coins, from the stone age to the present day, but all with a connection to the parish of Woodchurch. These artefacts trace the story of the community from the time when the stone age man passed by to Woodchurch today with its community of two and a half thousand people. Thank you. 